back on the truck in the booth again and uh, we're getting ready to get the bed shot I didn't record much of the bed prep it's just the same old thing I've been doing same steps I took with the fenders and doors and the other panels I painted for the truck basically uh, block sand the primer find the low spots repair the low spots reprime reblock sand and then a final sand with the 400 grit on the DA and we've got everything ready on the bed sides and uh, we're going to go ahead and use the epoxy primer as a sealer again and get everything a uh, uniform color and basically it's going to be the same steps as I took with the uh, the other panels uh, epoxy seal orange coat mask off the orange do the brown pull the paper off and do the clear so I'll bring you back as I complete each step and walk you through it again but again I said it's it's going to be a short video on this one because it's the same things you've seen before but I just wanted to bring you updates on where I am with the paintwork uh, working feverishly right now trying to get everything done and finished up on this truck by the end of August first couple of days of September the owner wants to take this truck to a parade uh, where it used to reside at up in Ohio so I am trying my best to get everything finished up and back together so that he can make that journey up the road so I'm going to go ahead and suit up and uh, get the truck wiped down and get the epoxy on and roll through the day and hopefully by tonight this will have all the paint work done all right we're talking about the paint back here though yeah. so what do you think everything looks good nice and even yeah. don't touch it get away from the you can't touch it I'm it's not, still wet i'm not touching it. i'm just looking at the seal okay all right so i got my epoxy coats on and uh this will give me my nice uniform base to go underneath my color coats so everything will match just as we've been doing with the rest of the truck so we're going to let this dry and we're going to go to lunch and when we come back we'll start putting color on all right as you can see the orange is done and I did things a little different this time. I didn't bother to mask off the sections that are going to be colored brown. Uh, when I did my orange, I just kind of let it, I just kind of let it fade up into the top part. So there's no hard edge that I have to worry about sanding down. Uh, so every place you see blue will stay orange. And these upper, lower and upper sections here will be brown. It'll match up with the. Uh, front section here on the truck and the bottom part it's brown tops of the bed rails will be brown the front of the bed rail will be brown if we come to the back and look at the back part the inside here where the tailgate opens and all along the bottom of the bed here this will all become brown and uh, you may be wondering why the uh, bed liner is still in the truck well, this bed liner is going away the owner requested a spray-in bed liner. So I left this in here just for the pure, pure fact that I don't have to worry about masking off the bed and whatever is underneath of it's gonna stay locked down by the bed liner. Once this is done, I will pull the bed liner out of this truck. I'll scuff over the bed with a DA and we're gonna do a spray-in color match bed liner. So the bed liner color will be the same color as the brown that's on the truck and it'll look more consistent rather than having a black bed liner. And color number two on. The brown is completed and everything looks really nice. I have to say my lines are a little straighter than Ford factory lines were, especially around these curves here. As you can see, we've got the brown and the orange done. So we're going to let this set up for probably about another 30 minutes. And then uh, we'll go ahead and start spraying some clear. 
Make it shiny. Yeah, that's it. You see it. Now it's shiny. Three coats clear on. I have to say, I'm really happy with it. It laid out really, really nice. It's got very little trash in it. And it's got no runs in it. So I nailed it. Honestly, a lot of it has to do with the weather. Today we have some really nice weather here. It was in the low 80s, lower humidity. And that all really does help with the way your paint lays out, believe it or not. Having a nice climate controlled booth is a big factor in laying out really nice paint jobs consistently. I don't have that here. I do completely rely on the outside weather. And the temps today were just just spot on for, for really laying down some nice clear coats today. So as you can see, everything laid out really nice. We got a brown and orange contrast. And again, I don't see any runs, drips, or sags on this side. And uh, even the brown looks like it laid down really nice. So I'm really pleased with this. The, uh, the owner should be ecstatic when he gets the truck back. Probably hasn't look this good since it was rolled off the Ford assembly line and might not even look that good then. So that brings this video to a close. Again this is a very short one just uh, doing the paint work on the bed. Uh, again I didn't really record everything because it's it's uh, you know wash rinse repeat wash rinse repeat. I've been doing the same thing. So last item we got the paints the hood and that leaves everything painted for the truck. Hopefully I'll have that done midweek next week and I can start assembling the truck. If I have the hood painted by the middle of the week there's a really good chance that this truck will be finished in time uh, for the deadline it's set at the end of the month and uh, that'll make the owner very happy. So I will see you again shortly.